Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to solve the following integral using two different methods. The first is going to be a simple substitution and the second is going to be using contour integration. Let's begin by noticing that our function right here is an even function, right? Because we have 1 divided by 1 plus minus x squared is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. So what that means is that we can read out our integral is 2 multiplied by the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared dx. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the following substitution. We're going to set x to be equal to tangent of u. And if we differentiate both sides we get dx is equal to secant squared of x of u, excuse me, du. And we can use the Pythagorean identity to rewrite this as dx is equal to 1 plus tangent squared of u all multiplied by du. Now all we need to do is rewrite our limits of integration using the substitution that we've made here. Well, we have u is equal to inverse tangent of x, right? Notice that for our upper limit of integration, which we'll denote as u sub b, we would have inverse tangent of infinity, but this is actually undefined. So what we need to do is we need to rewrite it in terms of a limit. So we have the limit is x goes to infinity of inverse tangent of x, and this is equal to pi over 2. So that's how we get our upper limit of integration. And for our lower limit of integration, which we shall denote as u sub a, we have inverse tangent of 0 which is just equal to 0. So we now have 2 multiplied by the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 divided by 1 plus tangent squared of u multiplied by 1 plus tangent squared of u du. These two cancel and we're just left with 2 multiplied by the integral from 0 to pi over 2 du and we can integrate this and we get 2 multiplied by u evaluated from 0 to pi over 2 and this is just equal to pi and that's the final answer for the first solution so for our second solution we're going to use contoured integration what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite our function here as an analytic function of z so we have 1 divided by 1 plus x squared and we're going to rewrite that as 1 divided by 1 plus z squared. Now we need to choose our contour. Notice that our loop here contains the pole at z is equal to i. So we have and this sign here is just indicating that we're integrating over the loop. Now as our function is an analytic function with a simple pole, this right here. We can use the residue theorem to calculate our integral. Using the residue theorem, we have 2 pi i multiplied by the residue of 1 divided by 1 plus z squared, which we will evaluate at our pole i. Now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what this quantity here is. Let's begin by rewriting our function 1 divided by 1 plus z squared in the following way. We have 1 divided by z minus i multiplied by z plus i. You can foil this out and make sure that these two things are equal. Now what we want to do is we want to isolate the divergent part of this expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide everything by z plus i. Doing so we have 1 divided by z plus i divided by z minus i. Now we can go ahead and calculate the residue of 1 divided by 1 plus z squared. We have the residue of 1 divided by 1 plus z squared evaluated as z is equal to i is equal to 1 divided by z plus i evaluated as z is equal to i and this is equal to 1 divided by 2i. The residue is just what's left over if we take away the singular factor corresponding to the pole, which is this part here. And now all we need to do is plug this quantity into our expression up here. 
So let's do that. We have 2 pi i multiplied by 1 divided by 2i, two 2i's two cancel, and we get the same answer as before, pi. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this content useful. If you did, could you please make sure to like and subscribe?